So to make the ultimate hot chocolate for these cold winter days, this is really what you should have. A nice tall glass. I've gone for Cadbury's sprinkler. Now this already has a little sprinkler built in, so you don't need to use the sort of one that may have come with your kit. Uh, you need the spray cream, obviously. I'm going to go for mini marshmallows, but some people like really large ones. Uh, you can get these through Amazon now, which is a box of Cadbury flakes, quite nice on their own, but really the ultimate top to a Cadbury hot chocolate. And these are a bit different, these pods now. They are just one pod. It used to be a two pod system, so that bit is pretty easy. Let me go through now with you step by step, and it doesn't matter which Tasimo machine you have, um, it's the same for all of them. So apologies if I sound a little bit croaky today, I'm back in a cold, but even more of a reason to get sorted with a really great hot chocolate. So let me show you how to make the ultimate hot chocolate on your Tasimo. Don't worry if you've accumulated all the tea desks or any of the other pod systems for UK coffee. Um, I'll put the link below this, just go to Podback, order your return envelopes free, then you print out a free label, drop it at Collect Plus, and Yodel will take that to a recycling centre which will separate the plastic, the foil and the food stuff and so you don't need to have any guilt that you're filling up some landfill somewhere. So I'm going to be using uh, one of the best selling uh, Tazimos at the moment, the Finesse. The Finesse, if you don't know, is a very simple machine but it has the option that you hold this button for three seconds longer when you've got a coffee tea disc in it and you'll get a stronger brew. So first things first, make sure the machine is clean and we need to fill the tank up with fresh water. I normally give mine a little rinse out if you've not used it for a few days. So let's top that back in there. Make sure you get a very positive click there that you have docked that. So this machine has been on for a little while so it's got its little uh, teardrop. I'm going to take this bit out here to make a, bit, a little bit more room for what we're doing. And we're going to be using um, a Cadbury tea disc but one of the things you'll notice is Actually, it's just full of chocolate powder, which is uh, obviously different to having coffee grains or whatever. And that's just soluble with the hot water that goes through it. But it's about twice the thickness, but it still goes in the same way. Just push this down firmly and away we go. There's no milk or anything, so you just go straight with your uh, pod with the Cadbury's hot chocolate in it. Now what the machine is doing when you hear this noise is it is heating up the water and it's building up the pressure. At this point, if nothing much is happening on yours, double check that you have got that water tank securely locked at the bottom. Sorry, securely locked at the back. Oops. Now remember the buttons on all the Tasimos are multi-purpose, you could touch that and it would stop if you put the wrong cup in it was going to overflow or you can push and hold it and it will put more water through. There's a limit to how much you can do that, obviously on this one you're going to run out of the chocolate powder but on a coffee it will make it a bit weaker but you know unless you can top it up a bit. So you already get quite a good look with the uh, Cadbury's one. The smell is absolutely awesome. If you are a fan of Cadbury's chocolate, then the smell alone makes this uh, worthwhile. That is absolutely fantastic. So that's splendid. That bit's finished now. Remember, never lift this up until your teardrop or your button has stopped flashing. The machine is decompressing. If you do that a bit early, you are going to shorten the life of the machine. Right, now we need to add some extra bits and pieces to make our ultimate hot chocolate. So I'm going to go with some uh, little marshmallows. I'll just put those there. They should lay on the top nicely. Next, you want your cream. Remember, if you've not used this for a few days, make sure you rinse that out. Otherwise, if any of the cream was left in there when the last person used it, you're going to have some sour cream going in there. Whoops. Got a lean tower pizza there, haven't we? I'm going to sprinkle some of my uh, chocolate sprinkles on. Um, you should be able to get all this, but I'll put um, 
the links below so you can get it from Amazon if you're having any trouble. Normally next day delivery on all these things. And then finally, and you will need to get this one from Amazon, I don't think you can find this in the shops, you've got your mini flakes. Don't leave these around, you'll find the kids will have eaten all these, or the grandkids will have had these all the way. And I just pop that in there, like that. That is the best hot chocolate you're ever going to get from a coffee machine, and today we've made it with a Tazimo. So I really hope you like that. Let me know how you get on in the comments below if you've got any questions. I try to answer them in a couple of days or so unless I'm struggling with a cold, which many of us are at the moment. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps me. If you want to buy me a coffee, you can use the super thanks button below to send me a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars. And actually I'll just reinvest those in future videos. So this is Paul from London saying cheerio for now.